One common question that comes up uh, fairly often, I think, is people are saying that they're having issues with the tail uh, not responding properly. Either they're not getting full travel after they adjust their travel limits on the tail gyro tab, or um, it's just really sluggish as if it's not moving fast enough as they give inputs. And usually what the problem is is that the, uh, if, it, if the tail gyro gain is not high enough, in other words, if it's in normal mode or rate mode as it's sometimes referred to as, rather than heading hold mode, you may have this problem. To compound the problem though, people will change their um, setting while they're hooked up to the software and say they're in the diagnose tab to read this like we are right now. And so if I move my tail gain on my transmitter, I'm moving it on my 8FG, you can see the tail gain slider moving and that's fine, but when you're on the diagnose page, your servos don't move. In other words, you can't move your rudder stick and see any interaction on the model. So what you can do here though, uh, to, to fix the sluggish problem or uh, to get your full travel is I'm gonna show you what it looks like when the gain is down too low as it is right now and then uh, what it looks like actually on the model and then we'll look at it again after I raise the heading hold, uh, put the gyro up into heading hold mode. But remember, in order to free up the model, I just put in 30%. In order to free up the model, you actually have to change out of this page. So I just changed it to 30% to show you what it looks like slow. I'm gonna go ahead and just click on the mixer tab uh, because that allows me actually to have control of the model. And when I go on to the uh, I'm going to show you the tail here, and it'll be actually quite a bit slower than it normally would be. So here on my Goblin, this is my tail with 30% and I'm moving the sticks as fast as I can back and forth on the rudder. So my left gimbal is going as fast as I can. Now if I go in here and change the value, I'm just going into the rudder gain on my transmitter and I'm putting it up to say 50%, which puts me into heading hold mode. And then I save that in the radio. Now it's much better response, it's very crisp and it moves like it's supposed to and like I would expect. Again, if I go back down to 30, very slow, and uh, you know that would tell me something's not right. But if you, if you do this while you're on the diagnose page and you're hooked up to the USB cable, you're not gonna be able to see what's going on. All you're gonna see is the gain value. So now I'm back to 50% and it's moving very rapidly. So if you have a problem where your tail seems to not be accepting the inputs, raise the tail gain while you're setting up. Just put it at 50%. That's a good starting point for your first flight anyway with the HC3SX. And then uh, once you have it set to 50%, make sure you click off the Diagnose tab. And don't go to the Trim tab either because you'll have the same problem where it locks you out. Uh, go to the Mixer tab or, or, or the Tail tab and you'll be able to verify that it's all working in the proper direction or at the proper speed.